Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a pack I have seen many miles with, the Gossamer Gear Gorilla 40 liter pack. Just an intro to this pack, the one I have is the 2017 version and it's a 40 liter pack. It weighs about 36 ounces, fully configured, that's without the shoulder pockets, that's with the hip belt and the aluminum stay that you use as a frame and the sit light pad that's in the pad holder. And who this pack is going to be for, it's going to be for, you can use it for section hikes, day hikes, it's a little big for a day hike, but it's for the through hiker that has trimmed their load down. It's not for somebody that's, you know, carrying 35, 40 pounds or a longer seven or eight day hike. Well, if you're looking for that heavy of load, you may want to go with the bigger pack. And so you're going to ask, what have I done with the Gossamer Gear Gorilla? Well, I went through four gorillas. Uh, the first gorilla I had on the AT, I got it in about Gatlinburg, and that's at about mile 200. And the reason I got the gorilla was I wanted to downsize in packs. So I went from the Gossamer Gear 60 liter to the gorilla, and I carried that gorilla all the way to Virginia. And then in Virginia, I had an issue. There's one issue I had was I had too small of a pack, I had a medium, and I needed a large according to Gossamer Gear. That's what I have been using as a large now, and it works fine. And also, this little grommet, which is also <laughs> conveniently fell off of this pack, which is a different pack, had fallen off. I called Gossamer Gear, they said they would replace it, and they did replace it. And that pack I had, I carried that pack all the way to Maine. And it was a really comfortable pack, and that was 1,900 miles on those two Gossamer Gear Gorillas. When I got to Maine, I did a little bit of rock sliding in Maine and I had some holes. I'm gonna show you the gear tape right there, right there, right there, and right there. And so I got a new pack for the PCT and I used that pack all the way up until Sonora Pass. And at that point I had an issue. I can show you guys with this other pack because it had some of the same issues too. I'll show you right here. The stitching on the straps started to come undone the shoulder straps this is the second pack i've had that happen on we're going to talk some more about that in the cons and that had started to come undone and also show you a picture the seam right here had busted due to carrying my bear can uh, i don't know if the seam was really weak i had the had the compression strap cinched down bear can shifted a little bit i was going up on top of pincho pass in the sierras so i may have fell may have been rolling around on it weird but it just broke a big hole in it and called Gossamer Gear, they got the pack replaced. And I used that pack all the way up until Bernie in California. When I switched to a different pack for about 300 miles, we wound up switching back to the Gossamer Gear pack. I got 2,350 miles on the PCT also with the Gossamer Gear Gorilla. And so that's well over 4,000 miles. How do the Gossamer Gear Gorilla, the features. And so I filled the pack up more and it's normally filled up to show you guys something. This is what the pack looks like. Pulled up to almost the top of the extension collar. It is really full. The first feature that I want to talk about is the capacity. It says 40 liters, but it is a, that, that's really generous to me. The capacity of this pack, just show you a little bit. I've just put a lot of stuff in here to show you guys. So that's basically all down and the capacity ton of capacity it says 40 liters but with that and the outside mesh pocket I think it's a little bit over 40 liters it's pretty similar to the ohm from ULA which is about 60 plus 63 liters the next feature we want to talk about is the frame that's McGear Gorilla has this frame show you guys right here it's aluminum stay and the neat thing about this stay is it goes all the way from the top runs down and get the pad out the stay goes right here you can see it and it goes into the hip belt so it helps transfer some of that load from your pack onto your hips pad holder this is one of the features that i really like about gossamer gear and let me get it to where i can show you guys this is the outside of the pack and it has mesh on the top and bottom and it has a little sit light pad that's what they call it that you can actually remove you can remove it like that take it out and you can put it back in the reason I really like this feature for the Gossamer Gear Gorilla is that you can put your foam pad, like if you have a Thermarest Z-Lite, you can put that in there and you save all that space that you would normally be taking up 
in the main exterior volume. So I put Z light uh, between six or nine sections. You gotta you gotta stack it in there. But the Z light from Thermarest fits great in here. The next feature is the hip belt. It's pretty thick, padded. It's really comfortable for me when I was the hip belt is the one thing that I would not take off the pack if I were using the pack again. Uh, the stay. Uh, I could live without it, but the hip belt is really comfortable, transfers load really well, and it stays adjusted pretty nicely. Every once in a while I have to readjust these, you know, during the day, but not too much. The next feature we're going to talk about is the brain. 2017 version of the Gossamer Gorilla had a brain, and let me show you guys what I did with the brain when I first got the pack. I uh, unbuckled it, and I didn't use it. It's a 40 liter pack. You don't need a brain. You shouldn't need a brain. It's got plenty of space on the inside. Anything you need to get to quickly, you can just dump in the big mesh pocket. The next item we're gonna talk about is the front mesh pocket. Gossamer Gear has this front mesh pocket. It's made out of pretty light mesh. And this pocket, I mean, let me show you guys the size of it. So as you can see right here, this mesh pocket can fit a lot of stuff. Also, the other thing the mesh pocket is good for is drying out stuff. Say on the AT, you have a wet tent, put it in there, and it's not gonna dry out completely, but it'll keep all that moisture away from like your sleeping bag and things like that. Keep it right here, sun will dry it out. And also, you can put anything you need quick access to, like your rain jacket, uh, maps, compass, water filter. Always put my water filter in here so I could just grab it out and use it really quick. The next feature we want to talk about, it has these trekking pole holders right here. I'm going to show you guys up. And you just take your trekking pole, slide it, slide both your trekking poles in there, and then you can take this, wrap it around it, and hook it, and then your trekking poles are with your pack. This is a really nice feature for if you're walking in an area where you don't need trekking poles. Also, it's really good when you're hitching to town, you can put your trekking poles with your pack and you don't have to worry about leaving your trekking poles in someone's cars. Next feature of this pack that we want to talk about as you guys see it, this is the ice axe holder. And what you do is you take the point of your ice axe, you run it down through here, flip it back up, and then you take one of the little straps, wrap it around your ice axe, and then clip it. It's really good for holding your ice axe. One important thing to note about this with your ice axe, it, that if you have a pointy tip on your ice axe, which all of them do, make sure you cover that pointy tip up. I actually cut a hole in one of my gorillas right here. The ice axe got it. The next feature we're going to talk about is the large pockets right here you see that pocket and you see that pocket they will fit two one liter bottles it's really easy to just you have the pack on it's really easy to grab your bottle out and drink it while you're walking and also you can fit a two liter potty bag in there really easy and so that's really good if you have to do long water carries the ability to get the water bottle out while you're walking and not have to unbuckle it and do one of these numbers to get the water bottle out believe it or not there are some packs that are in the 40 liter range that are so short and the pocket is not designed to where you can get it out while you're walking. The pocket is really tight or it's really high. And that's a feature I really like about this pack is it has nice big pockets and they're easy to access. The next feature we wanna talk about is but you have a little hole right there, right where my finger is. And on the inside, I'll show you guys, hope you can see it. There's a little sleeve, sleeve right here. And you can fit your hydration bladders. I personally cut this sleeve out of the other one that I have just to save a little bit of weight. And so what I normally do is I keep water bottles or potty bags on the outside. That way I'd say, hey, how much water do I have? I can either set my bag down and look at the potty bag or I can just grab my one liter bottle out or shake it and say, okay, I have two liters. Or And the last feature I want to talk about for the Gossamer Gear Gorilla for this gear review is it's modular. So if you're one of these people that is borderline of wanting to go you know, ultra light, super light, something like that. This is a great pack for it because as designed, it could hold 30 pounds, but say, say you're going on a short hike. You're not gonna, you're not gonna take your stove. You're gonna get a tarp. You're gonna sleep on the ground. What you can do is you can pull the frame completely out. That's three ounces down. And the other modular piece about it is the hip belt comes out too. And then you got the pack like this and you just freed the hip and that's, Ultralight hikers love hiking without their hip belt. I tried it for a thousand miles on the PCT. I had I had okay results with it, but I just really had too much weight for it to be effective for me. If it were up to me, I would say ditch the stay and keep the hip belt. I really like the hip belt. That leads us to our next topic, which is comfort of the pack. 
I broke down comfort into three different categories. The first category is fully configured. That's going to be with the padded hip belt and with the aluminum stay. For me, this configuration was very comfortable as long as you stayed under the 30 pounds. 30 pounds is the low limit for the pack. I hiked with over 30 pounds and it was semi comfortable, but that's the first configuration is with the stay and the hip belt. The next configuration is the configuration I used in the AT from Connecticut all the way to Maine, and that's without the stay. I had my Z Lite foam pad in the back, so it was a little bit thicker than the normal Sit Light pad. I found this configuration really comfortable, but I was around 20 pounds between 20 and 25 pounds so really kept it in the right range for not having that configuration and the last configuration with no frame no hip belt and like i said i used that on the pct for a thousand miles and it is not was not comfortable for me the only way i can see it being comfortable is if you keep your weight low like less than 20 pounds total you know at all times and it could be really comfortable for me what that really got into was my traps and my shoulders would just get really sore from all the weight being on them. Now we're going to talk about the pros of the backpack. The capacity of this backpack is really a pro in my opinion because it says 40 liters but I think you get a, you get a lot for 40 liters in this pack. I've been able to fit seven days worth of food and a BV500 which is the big bear can ice axe micro spikes cold weather gear for going through the sierras in may all that in this pack and i think it actually would have fit a little bit more so the capacity is one of the big pros the second pro is the pad holder that we talked about right here this pad holder you can use this i use this pad in my hammock because i have a three-quarter under quilt i use it under my feet to keep those warm you can also use this pad as a seat and also use it to sleep on you know as part of your ground system but, and the last pro i want to discuss is the customer service of Gossamer gear. Like I said, I went through four gorillas. I've had, it re had them replaced twice due to issues that we discussed earlier. These guys are top of the line customer service. I just can't recommend Gossamer gear for their customer service enough. That's probably one of the biggest pros for this pack is the customer service you get with Gossamer gear. Now we're gonna talk about the cons of the Gossamer gear 40 liter pack. The first kind, and I know you guys have probably heard me allude to this before, is just the material durability or stitching. I still haven't got a gorilla to last a whole through hike. I'm still willing to try, give it a shot. And this is a pack that I had on the AT. And as you can see here, there's a piece of gear tape. There's some gear tape on the bottom. This is from actually sliding over rocks in Maine. So be really careful with this pack. This material is thick enough to hold up pretty well you know from rubbing against trees or something like that but if you go over something really abrasive like rocks or things like that it's not going to hold up that well also the stitching that we talked about talking about the stitching right there i've had that come off of two packs there's a picture of this seam that busted and also the stitching right here on one of my packs started to come off and I don't know if this is a one-off issue or if this is just something going on with Gossamer gear, but I've had it happen on pretty much all four of my packs, so it, it might be an issue. The material durability, I wish it was a little bit thicker, even though I know it would affect the weight, but that's the first con. The second con is they refuse to make a roll top closure. I really like the roll top closure. I actually tried to get a different pack besides the Gossamer gear pack just to get a roll top closure. I wound up not liking the pack and switch back, but roll top closure is something I really, really would like to see on this pack. I have a gorilla with a roll top closure right here. This is what a gorilla with a roll top closure would look like. As you can see, it looks really nice and clean. That's a feature I really wish Gossamer gear would start putting on the gorillas. Next con we wanna talk about is mesh pocket durability. This is one of my packs from the AT, the second one. See, there's an issue right here where I had to put a piece of gear tape. And there's this right here with the mesh pocket. Now for me, I didn't have giant issues with the mesh pocket durability, but you really have to be careful with this. Uh, I hiked the PCT with the guy that was the second week. He had a Mariposa, which uses the same mesh. And he got it snagged on a tree. Catastrophic failure, ripped the whole pocket completely off. So the durability of this mesh pocket, you just have to be careful around trees and if you're like laying your pack down because this stuff will wear pretty easily and so that's why it's a con but it is really light the fourth con that we'll talk about is something that i can actually show you too 
is on the cinch version of this they don't do the cinch anymore so it might not be a big of an issue but this review is for the 2017 gorilla right here where the cord comes out there's a little metal grommet right there and it sits in there and you know it just guides the cord in and out I've had two of these fall off so out of the four packs I'm 50% for this happening well when that falls off it's it starts the stuff just starts tearing and eventually it'll tear all the way off and then you won't have any way to close your pack so that's one of the cons the fifth and final con is the packs aren't made in the US if you look at the pack it's made in Vietnam and with the price point of the new gorillas these are priced at hundred dollars because they're late season the price point of the new gorillas that I looked at is two hundred sixty five dollars for two hundred sixty five dollars you could buy a pack pit belt frame 40 liters or more capacity for $265 and get it from the USA made by people in the US from companies like ULA or other companies like that so in my opinion it's kind of a con I would really like to see this pack made in the USA but I understand <clears throat> manufacturing costs and things like that overall the Gossamer Gear 40 liter pack is a good pack like I said I've tried to switch packs twice on the PCT and I came back to the Gossamer Gear Gorilla for the reasons has a nice comfortable hip belt nice frame it's pretty light it has a lot of capacity and it's really good it's really going to be good for any kind of hiking you want to do <clears throat> unless you get into some heavier loads like over 30 pounds it'll hold 30 pounds uh, i had it up to about 35 and it was okay but if you were getting around 40 pounds so you're going on some kind of expedition and you had to carry a lot of gear or you're carrying a pack raft or something like that really wouldn't recommend the gorilla but overall it's a great value pack recommend you checking it out gossamer gears website right now i'll put a link to it you can get the 2017 gorilla for a hundred bucks as opposed to the 2018 version with the over the top clothes for 265 so if you if you want to go grab the 2017 gorilla i'll put the link in the description thanks for watching